Hey, what's up? All right, now this thing's kind of kind of low. It sounds kind of low. Let me try to see if oh, I. Oh yeah. Oh, now it's better, I guess. All right, hey, black man. Hey, hey, what's up? Well, you know, you tell me. I say to say we. Yeah. What do you have, man? I have. Wait, I do have one thing. You know, you know, I got to come back to New York in a few, and yeah. I was I come across my thread to tell you how foul these uh, what we call you know. Anglo racist white supremacist are. There was one of these luxury hotels, you know, they do. It used to be a luxury hotel, then they made so something else. And something. Anyway, this woman has been living there for, since the old days, um, you know, when all this pandemic hit. A lot of people left, and so they made it for like a, a hotel for the homeless or something like that. And she Is that was, the Lorene? The Lorene one, right? I think that's the one, one of those like that. Yeah, yeah, the Lorene, I think. Up on the Upper West Side. But yeah. any, anyway, but she's telling the story. Of how you know she was first apprehensive, and she had a, her husband had you know blah blah blah. Anyway, they got it all set. The new people moved in. They were cool. They they had this community going real well. Then this other group comes to this other hotel, and then they hire like a, a one of those Giuliani lawyers, right? And start this association to get these people out. Now they had started a community that was going very nicely, you know, multi whatever, diverse whatever it is. But yet these these racist white supremacists come in, and of course they put pressure on De Blasio, who's a punk. You know, he's he's a punk like 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 Obama's a punk. You know what I mean? We knew he was a yeah. punk when when the police turned their back on him. He didn't do nothing about it. So you know that boy. I don't know what's wrong with him. I you know I, I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, the black is just trying to get through this. <laughs> <laughs> all I know. All I know is it shows you well how these how these people work. Everything is working fine. The community is nice and well, and these other folks come in and then they want to change the community. It remind me like with Tompkins Square Park. You know, we was having a good time oh, down yeah. there. You know, yeah. And then that's these, what they do. You know, it's like yo, it's our, it's ours now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but after you got it going, you know what I mean? Hey, I'm reverting you back that to movie? you. Remember that movie, y'all? Um, King Kong Escapes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so remember the the, um, the one with Jessica Lang in it? Yeah, I think it was Jessica, a girl that was like Jessica Lang. Yeah. No wait, no, no, King that, that's King Kong with Jessica Lang. I'm talking about the old ones that you would see on like you know Channel Nine and Eleven and stuff like that. Oh really? I can't remember yeah, that one. King Kong versus Godzilla. King Kong. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. With, with Robot Kong and everything, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So so let me just break it down. So in King Kong escapes, right? Mm -hmm. You had the native guy, right? That was there, right? And then you had, you know, the supremacist guy comes in. You know, he's a doctor, and he's, you know, got technology and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And, and he wanted Kong, right? Mm -hmm. And basically, he wanted Kong to like dig some diamonds and all kinds of stuff out of a mountain and stuff because mm -hmm. his robot version of Kong couldn't do it. The technology wasn't good enough, so he needed the natural Kong, right? Mm -hmm. So what he did was. He did something to tranquilize calm, right? Mm -hmm. and, and this goes back to what you were talking about with using tranquilizers and stuff like that. They tranquilized calm, and then the natural man, who was like, you know, basically um, one of the people that either worshiped Khan as a god or had mutual respect for calm, right? Mm -hmm. So he was like, yo, you taking calm, right? And then um, the technologist, supremacist guy's like, yeah, Kong is mine now. And then he shoots him and kills him. Shoots him, the, guy, the guy? Yeah, he, he shot the natural man. And then he took Kong. The tranquilized Kong, they took him, brought him to the island to fight the robot Kong. Uh -huh. Well, first to do the digging. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then Kong took his, like, a, basically like a Bluetooth headset that was on him out of his ears. Like, I ain't listening to this nonsense no more. <laughs> and then, you know, he's, he escaped. And then him and the robot Kong had the fight. And then, you know, Kong obviously won. But, you know, the natural beast of technology. And then Kong escaped. He left. Mm. Yeah, but the, but the white supremacists still live. Yeah, no, no. He took care of him, too. Oh, good. <laughs> he took care of him. I'm glad you know? about that. Only, only, remember in this movie, since it was like Japanese, it was like a Japanese white supremacist. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Still white supremacy, but Japanese style. Yeah. Oh man! Well, you know, I'm back. I'm back to uh, to teas now. I got the. Uh, I'm doing the uh, organic licorice root root tea. Oh, okay. This time, you know, 
I got got my my little thing here. So uh, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be drinking that. Yeah, I did tonight. um I did early um I think I told you Trader Joe's 100 percent ginger. I did that yeah. that with um breathe easy. Same people, traditional medicinals, mm -hmm. and um throw coat. Mm -hmm. And then I took um that tonic that I had the um what's it called Mulberry Gardens. Okay. Tonic. Okay. And that's um throat and lung with the mullet in it. Mm. Oh, the mullet. Oh, I learned the mullet. Hey, can, I, can I tell you something? Not for you. Not for me either. But for those people who smoke who smoke marijuana, what you should do is you get your little, you, you make your little, little joint spliff or whatever you call whatever the blunts, whatever it is. But you put the mullet in it too. Yeah. Uh, just, just, that, just, that throat. just Just a hint. I mean, I didn't put I didn't put the microphone on. Oh well, I guess it's all right. But look, um, but what what, so what we were going to talk about this week? I, I want to go. No, I don't want to go back to that. Um, you want to go to Bitcoin? No, uh, no, I'm not ready for Bitcoin because I haven't. I got the book here. I, I mean, I can, I am ready for Bitcoin, but I sort of want to read the book because you know I got this book, uh, uh, Bitcoin in uh, uh in Black America, Isaiah Robinson. I've had it for. Robinson, oh, okay. Jackson, so, so rather. Save it because there was a, a video that I saw mm -hmm. and I bookmarked, but I didn't get a chance to watch it yet. But it was like um, from Africa News Today. Uh. And it was talking about Bitcoin is booming in Africa. Oh, yeah. I, yeah we talked about, we hit on that. Here's the thing. When I first got to Africa, I, I was saying to him, look, we need to, you need to jump the technologies because right now you're just taking it, you're just taking whatever the, 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 the European leaves over, the colonialist leaves, leaves to you. But what's happening, right. perhaps what's happening in Africa now with Bitcoin is really interesting because you have to understand, you got to go through, all, not, not necessarily in South Africa, they, they have their own problems, but a lot of these countries, you got to go through, you know, you got to go to the current currency, but then you got to go to the underground economy. This happens in Asian yeah. countries too. Yeah. And so you got to go through like two, two or three alliterations, you know, da, da, da. So with Bitcoin, but people, what people understand, and it, it, Americans don't get yet, you know, is that you are your own bank. You're your own sovereign. So you're, so, so you're, so basically the, if everybody has Bitcoin, you just, you just trade Bitcoin. You don't have to go through no currencies, no fiat currency, no central bank, because you are your right. own central bank. And that's what's catching on because people, because yeah. that's how they control you through the central bank, through the banking system. Yeah. So that's what's happening in Africa. And people are slowly but surely getting on. The funny thing, here's the funny thing. When did I start with Bitcoin? I think 2015 with my research group in South Africa. You know, they I, was, I told them about it. And so, of course, you know, my, our, our model, my man, you know, he jumped on it right away. He did all the research. He was trying to explain to the people in Dubaza, you know, they looking at it as a quick scheme. And he was trying to explain. We was trying to explain to them, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so they're on it already, even though I don't think I have to wait till I get back so I can re-energize them. But we all have wallets. And we all have, I guess it's still, I mean, I don't know if somebody has done, 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 done gamed our wallet enough like that. But if it's true, then we all, we all got some, we got some Bitcoin. But, but as soon as that happens, all these, all these fiat countries, all these central bankings, they're done. In fact, all the banks yeah. are trying to get some sort of cryptocurrency, but it ain't going to work because Bitcoin is there already. Everybody's on those hash rates. It's done. Yeah. And as soon as yeah. these companies start jumping in, the companies, and then you get all these wealth funds, then it's really going to take off. So it's already done. You can't stop it. Bitcoin is bulletproof. You can't stop it. So there yeah. you go. And the funny thing is, uh, uh, a long time ago, about a year and a half ago, somebody called in to, to, to you know, breaking down to your vet, and she was poo pooing Bitcoin, saying, you know, because, you know, boys, you know, boys Walker was doing the thing, but he wasn't doing it right. Yeah. But but she was poo poo. Oh, no, but, you know, uh, I, I, I trust my old, you know, American currency, blah, blah, blah. And I, I cringed. I said, oh, my gosh, she doesn't understand what she's talking about. Oh, this is going to be bad. You know, yeah. but sooner or later, they'll come around. That's why. Hey, that's why when I said our, our, the, for the reparations, I got I got the fiat country companies, I, the, uh, the fiat currency. I got the Bitcoin and I got the precious, the precious, the precious minerals, uh, three, three, three forms. But, you know, people you sound it, like Robert Kiyosaki. <laughs> you sound like rich dad poor dad. <laughs> hey, you know that guy. That guy still. All them people are corporatists. They all cap. They all capitalists. I don't follow no corporatists. You know that's the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, in fact, let well, me tell man, you. But, but with him though, he's an admitted one though. Oh well, you know. Just, just, that, okay. You know what I'm 
Okay, I got you, but that don't change nothing with, for me. That changed for other oh, no, people. No. I, get, I got you on that, yeah. I'm just saying that um, some people be, you know, they be front north. Yeah, yeah, true that. It's true like, that. nah, he's like, nah, I'm, I'm really about the money. It's, <laughs> it is about the money. I'm telling you. Yeah. Money. That's what he's saying. Yeah. yeah that's, and, you know, his whole thing is, you know, I guess he's saying, look, I'm trying to teach people that, yo, your money's being taken mm. and... You know, the only way you're going to um, get rich is do what the rich do, right? Yeah. And then he goes, yes, and then he goes that um, I ain't going to have my money taken, so I'm doing this and that. Because in the beginning, he wasn't really into Bitcoin either, but now he's a big proponent. Oh, he, he's in the Bitcoin now. I didn't know that. I f- yeah, he's in it. He's in it deep. Oh, I didn't know that. My, about it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, I don't. I didn't know that because I ran into him yeah, in the I mean, He's in not the doing 80s. it the, the Kaiser way. Where you know they got um sun energy and stuff like that, where it's like, oh well, not only is it good for you, it's also good for the planet. It's also you know, it's like it's win win. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah but even that's what I like about the Kaiser because it's more like win win for everybody. It's well, a win win situation. But that's what the guy in South Africa. Well, even that, I'm a little suspect because that's still hooked up to the grid. Now, don't get me wrong. The grid, you have to have the grid as backup until, like he says, until until it can take over, you're still going to need the grid, which is hooked up to the to the coal or whatever have you. However, what he doesn't know, and I better write this, I got to write them, there is a thing that, that, that I, I, if I, have, I think I have it on my interview thing when I interviewed this sister about a year ago, a year and a half ago. They have this thing called, I think it's called the turtle or the blue turtle or something like that, where... They, 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 in the daytime, they, they open up the, 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 um, the sun, the solar thing, right? They get right. the, they get the solar thing, right? And, yeah. and people can go and, and use their laptops. They can go there like a little lab, and and it's out of like a, not a trailer, but something like a, something like a trailer. This is whatever, and and uh, and they also have uh, you can sell, you can use, uh, charge your cell phones, right? And then, because of the crime situation in South Africa, at night they just close it in. You can lock it up and just close it in and leave it there. The next day, you open it up and use it as a classroom. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he needs to hook up with something like that because on those little micro things, you know. But that's a company in itself. So I don't, I don't know about that. But he's still hooked up to the grid. You know what I mean? What he's yeah. doing now, he's depending on it to last long enough to where he can give back to the grid, and then you can be self-sufficient out the sun. Which in the comments, if you read the comments, I put a comment there. Okay, everybody's talking about that. My whole thing is this thing called wave power. South Africa is in a unique position. They have two oceans. They have the Indian Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean. And if they could harness those wave kind of powers from the Indian Ocean and Atlantic Ocean, which also they can set up a barrier for the sharks not to come in, right? They can get the energy from the wave power also. So they can have they can oh, okay. have, they can have solar wind and the wave yeah but see don't think that way see you know I me mean, i'm just a little guy nobody listened to me you know but, so now, but have you ever heard of because i remember this is like back in 2015 2016 i saw this ted talk about um li-fi oh yeah oh i've been i've been advocating li-fi for a long time yeah electricity like man <laughs> no this is uh this was on um this was uh, uh, even before Cold Fusion. I knew about Live Fight. Uh, I've been advocating yeah. Live Fight for about four years now since I, yeah. I saw that, right? But here's the thing, and I've been telling people, but that's what they're trying to do with this G, this, this, these G networks, this G5, yeah. G6. But it's not, that's what I'm trying to say. It's not necessary. They're doing this with radio waves, with this, and it's not necessary because Live Fight is light waves. Yeah. And it's just as fast. But, yeah, but, but they're not fast enough. It's faster. And, and what it is is the networks are smaller. You know what I'm saying? That's right. In fact, so, they, so it's small enough to like power your, your light bulbs and your um your internet in a smaller space as opposed to like, you know, all these towers being put up and all that other stuff. Yeah, there's no need for these towers. And here's the other thing. They, they had a, I think they had a project in, I think it was Angola or someplace like that. India and I think like Lithuania, some some it's one of those stands up there. They have pilot projects there that's been going for quite a while. So I don't know how those going. I don't I don't know how these people are margin how the big companies are marginalize them out. I have I can't check on them right because yeah. I want to bring Li-Fi to South Africa. 
through through, through the kids. Yeah. Because, you know, I mean, it's a weird kind of thing because I'm one of these men without resources, without power, but I know about all this stuff way before it happens. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> One time, can, can, I, can I, let me, let me, okay, here's the best, here's the best description of me that ever happened. I used to do, we used to do these things called, uh, called conclaves, you know, for audio drama, right? It's like 24-hour 20, right. events, right? And uh, they would start at four o'clock in the afternoon, you know, and we go all the way to four o'clock the next day, up all night. We do whole, we have all kinds of workshops in there, including showing films, and, uh, music workshops, you know, the, the writing, all kinds of workshops, right? So as a thing, as one of the conclaves was starting one, you know, one, one time, uh, and we only have it like maybe twice a year. When, when it wasn't that much, right? So as I, I and I was, I came into the space, right? And then, and then the the woman who always took photography for me. In fact, if you go to my website, you see that picture of me under cultural revolutionary with the, with the hat yeah. with, with the Spico shirt on and the, and, the, and, the, and the talking drum. She took that picture. She's one of my favorite photographers. She took some really really great pictures. Her name is Lorianne. And so as I walk in, I hear her say, "Oh, the oracle has arrived." And so it's like the Matrix. It's like it's so weird because that had been the most. But she has she had been one of my students in one of my you know one of my when I was teaching at, at University of Cape Town. And, but and, and, but anyway, it was the most accurate description of what I was doing at the time. It actually is the accurate description of what I am. You know, yeah. <laughs> I loved it. You know, I don't use it, yeah. but you know, it's a little, little kind of whatever. I don't know why I went off on that, but what what. <sighs> Wasn't we supposed to talk about uh, 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 breathe or breath or whatever it is? Or what you know? What did we mean? Whatever. What do you want to do now this 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 week? Let me put it that way because I you know I me, mean, I'm, I'm I'm malleable, you know. Well, one of the things that I saw um, on um, that Mac show, that Orange Pill show, was um, that brother that um, the UK brother talking about. Um, um, blockchain, but also talking about um, virtual reality. Yeah. And then um, one of the things that was said, like, oh, like this is like everybody will be in the Matrix with avatars. And then he's like, yeah, the Matrix and Ready Player One, which happened to be on today no. on television, you know. And I was like, yeah. Even though I never saw Ready Player One from beginning to end, mm -hmm. but I peeped enough of it to see exactly what he was referring to. That the whole avatar, avatar thing mm -hmm. is a way, you know, especially with gaming now, even at this level of gaming where, you know, you're outside of the game, you know, but having a mental experience inside the game, a cerebral experience inside the game. Yeah. So you're not you're not VRing it. You're not, you know, wearing any glasses or anything like that where you're physically in the game. But still, even when you're outside of the game, because I've been a gamer for a while. You feel, you move. When the game moves a certain way, your body moves that way. So, oh, really? so really, you are already there. You know what I'm saying? But I think one of his points was that, that the, 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 you, you can create an avatar that, that is not that people are not biased against. Right. I'm saying, but the whole bias thing is, is just one um, part of the okay. whole. Okay. It's the bias. It's um, the economics. It's, you know, the whole personality. It's everything. It's all of that. Mm. And, like, if you, you see Ready Player One, that's exactly what they're referring to. Okay. You know, Ready Player One is clearly, like, you know, the downtrodden virtual people versus, mm. you know, the um, corporatist virtual people. Mm. And then in reality, the corporatist is like, oh, you're really nobody. You know, you're somebody there, but you're nobody here mm. in, in this reality. Mm -hmm. You know, so it goes through the whole concept of that, you know, of uh, where you are or where, you, you know, who can you be? And to me, like, a lot of people don't even realize it, like Facebook, Instagram, you know, mm. Twitch, all of them. Mm. Once you make a, a a name for yourself, a username, mm -hmm. that's really your avatar. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so we're already doing that. It's mm -hmm. just that what level will it go to? And then how can you really... um you could say exploit or explore, whatever you want to say, you know, whether it's explore, exploit, or um, become, mm. or be, and how you use that. 
yeah, but, yourself. But one of the things the UK brother was saying was that uh, Facebook is basically going to pioneer it. And what we have yeah. to what we have to do is wait for them to pioneer it, and then we we you know we basically gotta you know gotta pimp it you know <laughs> if we well, want our just time. Give you an example of Facebook pimping that's that's recently happened to the point where at the beginning of October Facebook is finally caught up with it and they're trying to shut it down. Now you remember when D Nice first started you know DJing on Instagram Live and stuff during mm -hmm. during the pandemic and stuff like uh -huh, that, uh -huh. right? Yeah. Yeah, so that caused a lot of other DJs to like, you know, whether they were known or unknown, either do on Facebook Watch or go on Instagram Live or something like that and do their thing. Mm -hmm. And it just became super popular. Yep. So now, you know, Facebook has finally caught up to us. Like, oh, no, 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 we got to shut this down. Mm -hmm. So in the beginning of October, that ain't happening no more. No more DJing. But, yeah, no more DJing like that. Live DJing, <laughs> playing, you know, copyrighted music, blah, 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 all that other stuff, you know. It got all, you know, corporately legal now. It's like, oh, no, only we can exploit that. You, we ain't gonna let y'all exploit and monetize, you know, your DJ groups and stuff like that and, you know, make something for yourselves based on that using our platform. Well, there'll be, there'll be like, like, like he's saying, there'll be a Linux come along and, and, yeah. and, and knock all that stuff out, you know. Yeah, well, there's already something called, um, it's music something, which everybody's already, okay, we're going to shift over here. You know what I'm saying? So everybody makes the shift. Like, a lot of times, you know, the whole thing with YouTube and monetization, people have made the shift to Patreon. Where it's like, oh, man, you know, well, if you like my stuff, you know, come over to Patreon. And, you know, for a dollar or more, you know, you can support what I do. So it keeps me going, doing what I do. But then I can give you the real, you know, I don't have to um, yeah. edit myself. Yeah. Based on YouTube and stuff like that. Well, I always do. I do that with the African guy, Louis Spot. I keep on saying I'm gonna do this, but I am going to. I'm waiting for October. I'm waiting for my money to come in. You know, next week yeah. or whatever. Happy, because I don't want to get on there and you know whatever. But I gotta go. Uh, uh, Irony, uh, Osei Fripon. Uh, uh, I gotta support him, and then I have one other. Oh, I want to put home team. So those are the two more. I'm only gonna do three at, to, to begin with. You know what I mean? Now give Irony yeah. like fifteen. A month. I, I, I'm 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 gonna raise up the uh, the African guy to about fifteen a month. To well, I'm gonna yeah. leave him the way he is till he gets a little bit better. But uh, yeah. the home team, I don't know how much I'm gonna give him. Maybe I'll just give him five a month. You see, to begin with, see what see see, yeah. how, see what happens if my but money. They, they have. Um, have you checked out home team? And he told you what you know. Like, is it five, ten, fifteen, or whatever? Please. Yeah, I think so. What yeah. They do is they already have like set set tiers and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. 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 Okay. That's why I know. I know. So so, it's off five, ten, fifteen. Because I know. I know. I know, I, 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 I know. He's just a dollar or three dollars. Yeah. I know. I, I know. Army has like I think it's one or five, and then fifteen, and then fifty. Well, I can't give nobody fifty because you know I just don't roll that way. I'm sorry. You know, yeah, exactly. I'm a I'm a boomer, <laughs> but I ain't that kind of boomer. I'm not those boomers that made that money that you know ripped the system off, right? Yeah. You're <laughs> not that guy. That remember that movie Contact? Oh. With Jody Foster? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about it? Remember the philanthropist guy who like built the second um space station thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, when the first one blew up. <laughs> it was yeah. like, yeah, so he's that guy. He's that fifteen dollar or more guy. You know what I'm saying? With, so that, that's what like it is. The capitalist, yeah. you know, as I guess a former capitalist and using his money philanthropically to help whatever. So I'm I'm having fun, you know. I don't know how long it's going to last, you know what I mean? But I'm having fun. Well, here, I'm, I'm, I've got certain things in place. I get to New York. I'm, now I'm weary about New York because they're talking about, you know, people are, you know, or, or, you know criminals are all out of jail and they're, they're, they're you know, they're mugging people or whatever. Well, they can't mug me. They, they, they'll leave me alone. I put on my African stuff. They say, nah, we ain't going to bother this brother. <laughs> you know? But uh, so I'll see what but happens. You know, the other thing is that um, there's been a little bit of... Um saying that uh, what's happening in Europe, you know, as far as like um, COVID making a second round now in the fall is coming over here. Yeah. So like they're now checking neighborhoods in New York for clusters. Mm. Mm. Well, I, mean, my, my, I just got it from my sister. To go, I talked to my sister today. She got it from because the, 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 my grand nephew was right, right here. My grand nephew, poor baby. He was at the babysitter. And so the babysitter and all them little little, little brats, they done got it. 
gave it to whoever. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Power to the people got it? Yeah, power to the people got it. <laughs> and, uh, well, you know, they're babies, whatever. And then, uh, yeah. uh, and then my sister got it. You know, she didn't know. She was feeling with some kind of way. But she got over it as soon as she got it because, you know, I, 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 I've been working on her before I was getting her, her stuff right. And uh, yeah. so, so, of course, well, my... I remember you saying that she was doing her thing, too. Yeah, that's it. She still exercises and losing weight. I'll see how she looks when she gets there. But, uh, you know, so, so of course, my niece freaks out because, you know, they're young people. They, they don't listen to nobody. You know what I mean? And her, and her man is uh, all all down, whatever, how you say, hey, serve them right. Maybe they'll start listening to me. Some people that know some stuff, you know what I mean? Because they don't think they know. They don't think we, you know, I'm in such a weird position because most people do not understand the amount of knowledge I have. This Forget me. I'm just trying to say, I was just listening to um, uh, uh, on uh, the Happy Films, uh, H A P I films. You know, it's it's sort of like uh, Tariq Nasheed without without Tariq's you know ego in it. You know, uh, they, they're doing they're doing the, you know, the whole African thing. But where uh, Professor Wade Noble, you know, Papa uh, Doctor Wade Noble, he was on there right. saying some stuff, and I, and I really like him. I got his book. I read his book. You know, about Haiti, and um, and he was saying some really interesting stuff. You know, but. He, he comes out this this uh, this brother. He was with them with with uh, Asa Hilliard and with this brother from Chicago that was really amazing. You know what I mean? Oh, this guy! I got one of his videos, whatever. Anyway, so he was saying some stuff, and I'm going. I'm listening to him. I'm going to say, "Oh man, these boys saying what to say? This is what I'm. This is what I'm trying to tell people about. I'm trying to explain this to people. But it's better. Let me put it this way: a lot of stuff I say is in the air. I just have to articulate it first, or, or articulate, or somehow express it, or just know it when it's happening. But then sooner or later, if I'm saying it, that means it's going to hit. That's all it means, you know. But here's the thing: here's the, way, the, the way I see it is that you'll say something, right? And I'm saying I'm using you as an example, but mm -hmm. you'll say something, and like you said, you'll articulate it in your voice, and then somebody else will come after and say the same thing in their voice, but then it's like, if you click the two together, it's like, whatever that people didn't get off or they missed in what you say will click in what someone else has said. So exactly. if you put the two together, you got a complete picture. See, my, my thing right Sometimes now- Sometimes it goes even further than two. It could go like down five people. And it, it'll hit. And here's my biggest yeah. thing right now, because I don't, I don't want to be famous. I just want the stuff to hit. My big thing right now is especially when you talk about reparations, huh? I said that's the most important thing. Like you said, for the king to hit. But here's my thing right now: debt jubilee yeah. for ADOS. Even as they yeah. accept this commission, that's my big thing right now. I want that to hit. That's the thing. Now, I it's funny that you should say that. Okay. Why? Because literally before I called you, right? I was watching a little bit of the playoffs, right? Mm -hmm. So now you're watching the playoffs. Everybody is wearing a jersey on the back of the jersey. Mm -hmm. There's some sort of um, social justice cause. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's the Celtics versus Miami right now. So one guy had on education reform. I'm like, oh, I haven't seen that one before. Mm -hmm. Right. So then I was walking upstairs, you know, because I'm in the basement to go get some water. Right. So I'm going to get some water. And I'm like, what if it was if it said dead Jubilee on the back? And here's a trick with that you believe. <coughs> here's what I'm saying. I see because they're supposed to set up this commission, you know, to study the HR 40 and the Senate's got their bill, right? They want to set up yeah. this commission, you know, when these people get paid, you know, that's what in COVID number about. They want to get paid, you know, and all this stuff. I'm saying, like, well, whether they get paid or not, as they're setting up, as it's happening, since you have to identify this group of people that you're talking about, which would be ADOS, immediately to identify them, you give them a debt jubilee. Now, this is now here's where it really gets interesting. The right wing can't go against this either because this is biblical. This is in the Bible. They used to give Jet Jubilee in the Bible. So you can just go on that thing. So I would get the Republicans to go along just as to because you, you can't just do the whole. You say, oh no, you just can't do the whole country. We have to do this, this, this group that, that you all beat up on all this time. And now we want to identify them at the same time. We want to give them a debt jubilee. You know, da -da -da. So that's how we do it. You know what I mean? And that way everybody gets on board, especially the Christians. That's the whole trick. Yeah. You got to get the Christians. Oh, yeah. And, and you know, that'll, they, that'll, that'll cut into the Republican thing. Yeah. Hey, you know, I'm a strategic thinker here, you know, like that. 
Mm. Well, to me, that works. But here's the thing. It but, works for me on many levels. <laughs> but, but, but Wade Noble was saying this thing. It's so interesting because I talked to my wife this morning, you know, for a long time, and she was talking about, and I, I, I finally got it. She starts to click what I've been saying, you know, because you know what happens. I be saying stuff if you don't know, understand. Like, like it be like years later, all of a sudden people understand what I'm saying, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> and I try to explain to her. That, but anyway, it comes to this. Um, uh, Wayne Noah was talking about this. The thing from 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 from, from Congo. He, he calls yeah. them the, the what do you call it? The Bakongo Bakongo group of people. But let me put it this way. And this this all stuff comes together because I learned from someplace else. Oh, they talk about Botswana. Now they're saying that that civilization started in Botswana. Okay? Oh, okay, I don't believe that. I believe it started in in it was was, was called the uh, uh, basically where Wakanda is at. <laughs> I will say it that way. Well, you know, Lake Victoria. But let's let, let's say it started in, in Botswana, right? And then the, the there's three groups, right? One group went uh, went a little bit south, right? And that would that, that would be the, the what we call the San people, the Poisson people. That's in my wife. Why five that one group went basically uh, northeast. And that and that was the that's what became the Europeans. You know what I mean? If you want the Arabians, yeah. European, and then one group went west. That's where you get the Congo and and you know the whole West African kind of kind of group, right? Right. But, okay. Senegal, etc. All, all all them people like that. They, they, this yeah. of course is over years, thousands of years, whatever it is. But the trick is from the Congo group, right? Which is where most most of us come from. There's a thing. There's a concept called Zola, Z O L A. It's interesting because one of the women uh, when I lived when I was in um, at Livingston, well, my last my last year, well, my last years at, at at undergraduate school or college, and on to when I lived in Somerville, I lived with like five women. Right, one of them was called right. Zola. Right, I won't get into that whole thing, you know, but I just just put it that way. And her name is Zola, but Zola means love. In this in this in this Bar Congo kind of thing, you know, and it's a different kind of love. It's not that that it's not that you know that that Boykin love, you know. It's that it's like like the Ethan Frome kind of thing. You know, there's all kinds of love, you know. And is it like agape? Say again. Agape love. What's agape love? Agape is like um, you know, a love that encompasses everything. It's not like you know, like. Um, male to female love. It's not like um, like love for your child or something like that. It's like love for love's sake, the existence of love. It's the armor of love. Yeah, there you go. It's the armor of love. Because, the, reason why, the reason why I said it that way because I was trying to tell my wife, I said, look, you got to take the armor. It's about the armor of love because you can't have fear. fear. You can't have love and fear cannot exist in the same space. And most of us operate out of fear. So what what you when when you have doubt or you have fear, that's what's messing you up. So I'm trying to explain to her, you know, look, hey, you got to You got to understand that you you you're putting on the armor of love, and that's what's making you powerful. And, and yeah. I think she finally got it. I think it sort of clicked in her head. You know what I mean? So she. Well, it's funny. Like um, I'm looking it up, right? So on Google, it's like. What's what's agape? What what language is that? What is that? What culture does that come from? What agape? Yeah. It's biblical. I think it's um, either it's, it's Greek or um, or some form of Hebrew. Okay. Well, mm-hmm. remember, remember all that stuff. Greek, Hebrew, all that stuff. That's after. That's after what I'm talking about. When these these things split up, they're they're yeah. way late in the game. That's what people don't get. They, you, you know the the. The Romans and them, they don't understand nothing because they always separate things. This agape that you're talking about, or even this Zola love, is about a completion. The way I put everything is so interesting because I can explain everything. I would say my old writing philosophy comes yeah. from the great philosopher, you know. Okay, wait, wait, wait. You're serious, you're serious. Okay. Right, I need to cut you off. But okay. It's uh, agape, into Greek, right? It's a Greo Christian, Greek Greco Christian term. Referring to love, the highest form of love, charity, and the love of God for man, and of man for God. See, that's where they mess up. You can't separate man and God. God is just man is just look, 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 like Wade Noble says, like James Small say. You know, divinity or, 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 or all we are right now. We are we yeah. as we walk the earth. We are just God having a a a a. Uh, 
a, a mortal experience, if you want to put it that way. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So we're still one. There's no separation. And that's the problem. Yeah. These, these Europeans, these, these, these Anglo racist white yeah. supremacists, they get over, they separate. And as soon yeah. as you separate, but you see, can't. My thing is, if you, like, if you have that understanding that we're talking about, so when you hear the word God for man and man for God, then you would say man is God and God is man. I say man is God and God is love. That's what I say. Right. You know, I, I, I keep the Christian man God in love. God, God is man, is what I'm saying. But the love is the thing that makes it all. Yeah, but in the words of the of of, of the great philosopher, uh, yeah. uh, uh, I'm, I'm I'm seeing the boys. I'm seeing the boy uh, uh, Donny Hathaway, the great philosopher yeah. Donny Hathaway. This this is why I sum everything up. This is the greatest yeah. philosophical thing to me. You ready okay. for it? I'm ready. Everything is everything. Yep. That's it. That's it. Talk about talk about ADOS. Talk about African American kind of sensibility. That to me is it. You can get yeah. you can give me all this other well, philosophy. I mean, you, you can know, Descartes. You can't get around that. Huh? I say, you can't get through that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When you say everything is everything, how can you get around that? You can't. That sums up everything. So I don't, yeah. I, I don't have to. Every time somebody goes to some philosophical rant about Descartes did this or Hume or whoever I don't whatever did the greatest philosopher or you know who's who's the, the Newton or whatever these people they say this physicist is I say oh please the greatest the greatest dude on the planet Earth that ever walked the planet Earth was a musician philosopher musician <laughs> and he said everything is everything that's it. You can't get around. You can't get all like, around enough like that. Who was that famous music philosopher who said that? I said, was it T? Was it so and so? I said, you, know, you know what I tell him? You know, you know what I tell him? I say, I say, ask Roberta Flack. She'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Roberta Flack was she from um, 15th century AD? <laughs> That's the thing, you know. There's this, there's this other movement that they they're trying to cancel um, the the great, you know, like Mozart and all the rest of them people, Beethoven, all the rest of them people, because they say that's that's a white supremacist or whatever, you know, the the, the standard like like that, you know. Right. I laugh at all that stuff. I go like, yeah, 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 yeah. But this, here's what Wade Noble was saying. Here's what I said. You, you know, you know what, you know, one of my favorite sayings is like, preparation is everything. Yeah. You know, that's that's me all the way. That's that that's. Just come from being a, a stage manager, but he was saying, "There's these like uh, was it five R's, uh, re uh, remembering who we are, uh, reminding ourselves of what we can do as a divine people, reframing these issues, uh, which meaning to me it means like the, the the when you reframe something instead of defining it in somebody else's thing, you're saying like like somebody said the glass is half." Empty, half full. I say no. The glass is three quarters full. That's reframing, right? Uh, re yeah. Revise, revitalizing our family dynamics. Now this is important because they put, but the family, you know, we we had no father, but no, the family dynamic means the family. W w the family dynamics means the family of the of the black man, if you will. You know what I mean? Right. And 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 that extends beyond your immediate, you know, the woman that's giving you trouble that you can't get away with, or the or the or the, or the children that that you that you didn't raise or that you you whatever. It it, it has something else to do. It's that I say family, so the bigger thing than that. And yeah. and and re, and, uh, and and is it rewarding? I think it says rewarding via activities. Oh yeah, rewarding via activities. You do activities that are rewarding, right? Those are your yeah. five R's, right? Now, here's the thing. I said this from the beginning when COVID first hit. I said, what these people have been doing, they have been basically been taking advantage of COVID to their own advantage. What we have to do is talk about Bitcoin and skipping over. What we have to do, okay, what's, what's, what is post-COVID going to look like? And let us plan for a post-COVID world. And let us, take, let, let us game COVID in our image. And don't let them, don't let them dominate when when this thing when this changes, that's the whole the whole thing. So that's oh, I get that. so that's that's my whole thing, you know. Because I, I from the beginning I was like, yo, everybody's like, yeah, well, you know, we're in COVID, blah blah blah. I'm like, yeah, but what's gonna happen on the other side of this? Yeah, plan and for the, your the own first future. Thing think about is obviously the vaccine because it's like that's the first thing on their mind. Like, you oh, know, please. am I gonna take it? Am I gonna refuse it? And all that other stuff. I'm saying, yeah, but 
everything has changed is bigger than that. It's, you know, how's work going to be? How's home life? Like you said, the structure of the family, um, the family dynamic, you know, the community dynamic, everything. How would that work out? All, all, all these, I know all these and real estate. Don't look at it as 2021. No, go five years from there. 2025, how will we be living? Because all these real estate speculators, they think they're going to swoop into New York. There's all these empty buildings. But people, that ain't going to happen that way. Nobody yeah. knows how it's going to happen, but it ain't going to happen that way, I can tell you. Whatever they have in their head, because here's what I know about, especially white supremacists. I would say white people in general. They are not yeah. creative. They don't know what's going on. The only creative people that are on the planet are melanated people. And the most yeah. creative melanated people have gone through this 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 furnace, this this pressure cooker that's ADOS. That's why yeah. we that's why we powerful. You can't yeah. kill us. And, and basically for us is we've seen this all before. Or everything is everything. <laughs> What can I not do? What can I yeah. not do? Question not. Nothing. What can I can what can I not do? Nothing. Think yeah. about that. What can I not do? Nothing. I cannot do nothing. I'm just saying. Just figure that out, right? <laughs> I got you. Then, then, then he says this thing that was very intriguing to me. I wrote it down. I'm a, I, 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 I sort of poetic it up. He didn't say it quite like this. I'm saying like this. I am a spirit being vibrating in seven different directions, radiating in seven different directions while standing still. Mm. I'm going to repeat that. Why? Because I like what it sounds like. He, he, I want to hear it. He made it, made it simple. I just, I, just, I just doubled it up. That's all. I am a spirit being vibrating in seven different directions, radiating in seven different directions while standing still. That's the black man. That's yep. the ADOS man. And, yeah. and these folks can't wrap their they can't wrap their head around that. That's the trick. They, there's no way they can get to that. It, 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 it's too much for them. Yeah. <laughs> it's too much for them, you know? So those are my notes. Those are the notes I took. Uh I have a I had another other notes I was taking. Oh, this whole police stuff. Oh yeah, but that's so. Um, I'll, I'll leave that alone. But he, but you know, you, 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 you saw my ranting. I was so, I was so yeah, I angry. <laughs> I was so angry, man. Cause, Cause to me, to me, I don't want to hear this no more. Don't tell me about what can't be done, what can be done. Don't tell me about none of this stuff. Everybody has their lane. You're supposed to the jump theory, which means you're supposed to jump and you everybody's supposed to jump one time and do what they're supposed to do. If you're a black man, if you're a black male, you're supposed to be doing something. Don't sit, don't sit down doing nothing. Don't you, yeah, you can climb back into your cave if you want, but nah, you gotta do something. The the poet's supposed to be poeting, the singer's supposed to be singing, the celebrity's supposed to be handing out money in the back in the back channel. You know what I mean? Nobody's yeah. supposed to be, you know, uh, 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 taking, you know. The, 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 the coon's supposed to be cooning <laughs> and be calling out on that cooning, you know? But most of all, everybody says defund the police. I say, forget defund them. I don't want to defund the police. I want to disarm the police. Yeah. That's when they're not saying disarm the police. And the first yeah. thing you do, that's why I said, look, everybody can get to somebody. Let me let me say, let me tell you something about, I, I, I got a whip on this boy. Those Obamas, right? Well, yeah. people don't understand they're in Martha's Vineyard. But remember, Martha's Vineyard is that boule, that old boule money, what we call old money. Uh -huh. They got in there because, because they, they, they wormed their way in as president, whatever have you. Those people don't really respect them. I'm going to repeat this. Those people don't really respect them. Yeah, I know, I know, you know, uh, 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 Angela Davis goes here, somebody, will, all those people, those people, those old money people, the, the, those are those those are those Duke Ellington kind of people. They don't respect them. Mm. And all you have to do is call them out and say, you know, the reason why the, 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 the whole country is the way it is right now, all these people, because you're the one that gave them the equipment to, to war on black people. So there's somebody in his circle 
that says, Michelle, just shut up. Don't say that, 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 that Barack would not get away with what Trump got away. Barack got away with more than what Trump got away with. Y'all are wanting to destroy the black community, putting them to sleep. Your daughter's up there kissing on white boys right now. So we don't want to hear this thing. Don't just sit down. Shut up. You don't want to give us Biden. You know, you you, you don't want to took away habeas corpus. You you don't want to who who settled all these like eight all these wars. You're the one that that militarized Africa. You know why all those troops are in Africa right now? It's because of you. And here's what if, I told you this before, and I'm gonna say this again. And I want, want these sports people to wake up. Barack Obama made this deal. He is the he is the face of a new, of the NBA. All the white them white owners. They trying to start a league in Africa, and it's just so happened those African countries they starting a league in are all hooked up with ports and oil or whatever, whatever you know strategically located, right? A basketball league, which Barack Barack Obama is supposed to be the face of this league. And what they're going to do? They're going to replace. Your, your 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 NBA that's restriking now with these Africans they think, but African yeah, conscious they don't understand yeah, African exactly. conscious is a little different. I'm, I'm high, I know look I know a lot more about Africa than a whole bunch of people. I mean, you know I yeah, yeah. you know so all I'm trying to say whatever their their stuff is not going to work. But people need to call out Obama and his woman and all those neocons right now. They need to call them out. Those Sarahs that are trying to get behind Kamala, pff, call them out. That's it, man. That's it. Call them out. No, you don't want Trump. That's why I say, look, here's my strategy. Okay, here's my latest strategy. I think I I, 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 I figured this. You do the Instagram, so you understand. Here's my latest strategy. Look, if you're in a blue state or red state, then you ain't got nothing to vote for as far as up top. You need to stay on the bottom and get rid of them sheriffs and them judges and them prosecutors that do whatever they do. You, that means you got to do some research. And I'm talking about not just black people, like white that. people. You know? I did a little. I did a little. You know? And I'm, right. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting till I get back because I got to get my Virginia thing and do all this stuff so I can just alert some people. But up top, if you're in a red state, you know, and you know that Trump is going to win that red state. Then what you do is you don't you write in if you can write in if your state might not you might spoil about if you do that you don't write them in you leave them alone because when they whoever wins you don't want them to have the popular vote you want them yeah, you want everybody you want them both to know you didn't win by the because it's by the electoral college anyway all your electoral college then let the electoral don't get me wrong if you're in a swing state like I'm in a swing state but I'm still not gonna vote for either one of them. But when you're in a swing state, then you might have to think about it. But if you're not in a swing state, all these people say, oh, no, you got to vote blue. You got to vote blue. But if you're in New York, it's going to be blue. So why are you voting for Biden? Exactly. He's going to win anyway, especially if you're ADOS. If you're down, forget ADOS. If you're downtrodden and you voting in New York, you need to leave that alone or either vote for ProduceJustice.com. Right? ProduceJustice.com in up top. Or ADOS if you're voting for ADOS up top. I say producejustice.com because people on you know they, they, they don't have people shouldn't have a problem with that right if you're in New Jersey I don't know if New Jersey's swing or not you know what I mean but I think New Jersey is going to go going to go uh, uh, Trump anyway I'm not really sure but you know whatever like I'm in Missouri right this is a red state that means that Trump's going to win this state you know but the cities so so what you do is you you do not you do not give this boy the thing. You don't give you don't give by no, you don't give him the popular vote. You're the popular vote. You don't do it. This is a strategy. And this is what infuriates me about these so-called political people. They're being operatives to to, to sheeple people in, 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 into some false whatever. I want whoever to win to know they did not win by huge amount of the popular vote. They won by electoral college, which means now that people's got to really talk about electoral college because they never do. When when Tulsa Gabbard when want to talk about electoral, they don't want to talk about it. They want to say election form. They also, they no, they don't want to talk about it. These people that get be you you've got to you got to spank them. You got to spank them. So when all these people like the, these these uh, uh, people talk about oh the, the Supreme Court is supporting you, you you get Biden because of the Supreme Court. Oh please, the Supreme Court has been talk, taken over a long time ago, long time ago. So don't you, don't, don't throw. Oh no, but you understand these other judges were. The, 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 why why does the case even go to the judges? If you had the right prosecutors, you wouldn't have to worry about no judges. If you vote those judges out, you wouldn't have to worry about them. So do the work. 
Stop being lazy. I was going to say, I was gonna say this, is that, okay, remember the sisters that they get your booty to the pole, right? Oh, yeah, I love them. Okay, so did you go to the website? I didn't go to the website, no. Okay, when you go to the website, there's a link. So go 411.org. Mm-hmm. And that's where you get the election information you need, where it talks about what's on your ballot, find out what's on your ballot, find your polling place, all of the other stuff, upcoming debates in your area and stuff like that, mm-hmm. where you find the local stuff so you can vote down ballot. Because like if you just say vote down ballot, some people are like, well, how do I do it? That's they don't right. want to do the work. They don't want to do the homework. They're lazy. Mm-hmm. So you go there and that walks you through where you got to go. So you can find your voting guide for your city, for your state. I got to go there. Like I said, I'm not doing my work until I get back to New York. I got to get on another computer. I got to get to, right. until I get so to New York. Saying, though, I, I looked that up and I found like a couple of people, you know, like what were the races happening in New York? Mm-hmm. You know, the New York races that was down ballot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then I found like, um, there's like a New York um, Supreme Court race. And you can see who the people are. Or even if, like, it's the congressman, there are questions that they ask the congress people, and it'll say, to this date, this person has not responded to this question. To this date, this person has not responded to this question. And then there's some candidates that did respond to the different questions. Now, the questions are a set of questions. It's not like I created a question for them. It's like there's already a question, they already have an answer. But you have to wonder when you see the candidates like they haven't even responded to some of the general questions and stuff like that. Who are they? What well, you know? Okay, what are they going to do? Do they think like, man, I'm an incumbent, I'm going to win? I don't have to answer the questions. You know what I'm saying? And then if they have a meeting between now and then, you can go to that meeting and ask them a, a, some other questions. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. See, somebody like Jerry Nadler and and need to be out of there. Bye, Jerry. You too old. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Uh, man, <laughs> you talking ageism? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I absolutely believe that. Yeah, you know, I, I absolutely believe this. I absolutely believe this. Break it down. Okay, as you know, I've entered my seventh def- decade. Yeah, I can be. I, I maybe I might be viable till I'm ninety, whatever have you. But after you're seventy-five, sit your behind down. Go play with your grandchildren. You 70, yeah. 70, you every, no, there should be nobody ruling nothing past 75. So now, would you say 75 plus your advisory? Yeah, but but, that, but that's a, that's when an elder is anyway. Right, I'm saying, so as an elder, you're advisory, but you're not in the game. No, you're not in the game. You're not running for nothing. Yeah. You might, you might yeah. be supporting it if you, if you got enough people that, that, that respect what you say. Look, look, we're doing it. It's, I'm just talking to you. I have no influence with nobody else. Even with you, I have no influence, of course, because anybody over nine years old, you ain't got no influence. But you, I can, I can, I, just you, I can just beat up on you and say, no, you listen to this. I, I, could, you know, I, I could say, no, I, you, your assignment for next week, you need to, you, I need you to go here and listen to this. So I can be stern like that. But I can't tell this to nobody else. I'm not going to talk to 25 people and tell them to go do something like that. I'm not leading no movement. In fact, a lot of stuff I'm telling you is only because I'm being informed and just wait till I get back to Africa and I got to talk to to my guy. Well, he just got on Instagram, so I'll get out, so it'll be, this is going to be quite interesting in the next few weeks because all my people are now on Instagram. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I can get some back and forth for a while, you know? Yeah. So And I got to get a new phone. But, but, but all I'm trying to say is, so I'm just, if I have any influence, it may be, maybe with just you. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> My collaborator. I'm only hooked up with my collaborator. I don't care about anybody else. I don't care if anybody else listen to me, don't listen to me. I don't care. You the only one I care. But this is this is real radio. Remember radio, you're talking to one person. So I'm talking That's just right. to the black man. So who you talking? I'm talking right. to the black man. Yeah, but what about me? I don't know about you. I don't know who you are. I know the black man. I've been known the black in fact, the, the reason why I talk to the black man because People my age, they're stupid. They don't want to listen, right? So I can only yeah. talk to like maybe one generation below me, if you want to call that, within a 10-year span below me. And then maybe the black man might be talking to somebody, you know, 10 years, 10 to 20 years below him. 
I'm certainly not going to talk to the person 30 years below me because they ain't listening, you know? Yeah, they ain't listening. And it's too much It's too much info for them. It's TMI. You know? Too much information. In fact, if, if that quietness is kept... Okay, here's the thing. You the only one I can berate and beat up like this. Even my wife don't listen to me. So... <laughs> <laughs> But I don't need her to listen to me. She's a woman. And she got her own things to do. I only want to talk to a real black man. That's it. Yeah. I'm not That's talking to nobody else. Reality. It's a whole different reality. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and if I can't get the black man to understand what I'm saying, then I need to keep on digging into I can get him to understand what I'm saying. And then he, of course, he has to get, make, make me understand. That's the whole point. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So if I say I'm taking yeah. some ginger root, and yeah, he said that's that's the whole point of uh, you know when you see them on when you see the brothers on the street corner, you know that's the same thing. When they're in the corner talking and stuff, <laughs> they're trying to make each other understand. Yep, that's our whole thing. And you don't even, you don't tell them to do this. You say, well, you know, brother, I don't know, man, but if it was me, maybe I would blah 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 blah. You never tell somebody what to do. That don't make no sense. Like I see, I, I beat up on you only because I know you. So that's that's different. You know what I mean? Yeah. But but you know, even you, I'm not really serious about you. Got to do you, you. You better do this. I, I can't tell no adult what to do. A, a dope black man. I'm gonna tell an adult black man what to do. Oh please, good luck on that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> The white man tried that. Some white man tried it, and then suddenly they get beat down. Like, like for instance, you know, uh, Professor, um, well, not Professor, but, but Black Authority, you know, he, he into guns and stuff like that. I can tell you right now, man, I, 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 I shot a shotgun when I was a kid. Boom! I said, I'm not into this. Then when I had to go in the Air Force, you know, the, whatever, the AK, whatever, not the AK, the, the M M16, M16 on a gun range. Boom, boom. I did all right, but I'm not, I'm not into it. So I'm not into guns. Yeah. I'm a writer. I'm an audio dramatist. Now, you know, hey, you want to fight on the audio dramatist level? I can do that. You know? Yeah. You know, I used to be good with my hands. I guess I still am. You know, man, I'm, I martial, you know, I do all that kind of stuff. But, you know, guns, I'm not into that. But those people are into guns, then you be, that's what he's saying. Like, yeah, you need to, you need to, you need to take some, some, some young kids to the range with you. You know, why are you going to the range by yourself? You need to take your woman and your, and some kids you know, to the range with you. You know, if, if, if you're really that serious. Yeah. Especially in, your, in, those, in those kind of communities. I'm not in those kind of communities, you know? Yeah. Not, it's not, it's not my, my thing, you know? So, that's what it is. Yeah, because usually that's, that's where it happens. You know what I'm saying? Like, the most trained is where it's already part of your way of life. You know, especially when it comes to weaponry. You know, that's already part of your way of life. Because I remember um, I was in uh, Vegas, right? Mm. Ran into this couple while we were um, going to like one of those, um, that, that spinning restaurant. Okay. This stratosphere and stuff like that. Mm. So we're all waiting to go in and stuff like that. I meet this couple, right? They're from Canada, right? Mm. So this is a young couple, you know, like millennials and stuff like that. But the guy looked like a straight up nerd. But yo, this dude knew so much about guns and Shot and how many um, moosey bags and stuff like that. I'm like, well, where you learn all this? You go, oh, well, you know, I learned from my father. We all did it and stuff like that. But the whole community does that. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, if you come from a community of poets and stuff like that, of course you're going to be a poet. That's you're it. all poets. It's just your way of life. You know, but you know, I, I'm, I'm still, I'm still, see, my problem is my, I do have a big problem with academics these days. You know what I mean? They, yeah. To me, they're, they're less than worthless these days. They're absolutely less than worthless because they can be sheeple more than, quicker than anybody, you know? And anyway, I want to get into them. Maybe next week we talk about the <laughs> academics okay. because they're, they are totally and useless to me. They're, 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 anytime, anytime you hear, so, so you hear somebody say the word notion, run. You hear, if they say the word notion, if you hear somebody saying the word notion, that means they're yeah. academic. Don't go... Go as far away from it as possible, you know, because they're going to have all kinds of theories and, and you know, and then this is what happened. But, and they don't even really study. Look, you, you, you know, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm still reading this book. Uh, I'm still reading this book, uh, Thomas uh, Frank, uh, The People Know. And even if they did that, you, you could it's see. It's funny because I saw the cover 
one mm-hmm. time when you filled it, and I was like, oh, snap, it's not in O W, it's in O. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but you can see how this is this cycle, this stuff happened before. And the academics is supposed to be able to fill in the thing and tell us how for not to happen again. But if this, if we're spinning the same thing, Donald Trump is nothing but Woodrow Wilson. Oh, that's interesting that you should say that because I, there's this guy that I follow now called David Hoffman. Oh yeah, you know him, right? Yeah, the archivist. Yeah, yeah. So he had this guy, and this must have been like in the eighties, right? Maybe. Yeah, I have to say it's in the late 80s, early 90s, this guy talking. And um, they had like three clips with him. Now, I don't know who he is or what his name was, anything like that, but it was three David Hoffman clips. You go to his channel, you can see it. Mm-hmm. And this guy was talking about, um, first he talked about um, the 60s and stuff like that and how stuff happened. Then he talked about, I think, um, um, the whole thing with Carter and stuff mm. and Reagan and stuff like that. But his the best one was the, the third one that I saw where he was describing Nixon and his whole description of Nixon and everything about Nixon. And one thing he said in particular was like him and Pat Nixon would be getting on the elevator. They'd be going there with their hands, you know, clasped together like they were a couple. Mm. And he said, and you just know as soon as that elevator door closed, the hands dropped immediately, like, oh, we have to, you know, yeah. do this false thing anymore. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yo, that's drunk. That's, <laughs> that's it. Right there. You know, what I'm there was so much that it was like, yo, it's like, yes, this has happened before. Only in one case, like you said, it was Woodrow Wilson. In another case, it was Richard Nixon. Hey, and another. So book- there's others too. There's others in between, and there's others even probably before. Which hey, look, be- Barack Obama said that in his own mouth. Barack Obama was Ronald Reagan. Oh, he said he was right. He was, he said he was a conservative, a conservative Republican. But if you really look at his stuff, he did what Reagan did. Barack Obama is Reagan. <laughs> the, the interesting thing is, both of them, um, they got hate out of it too, and it was love from beginning to end. There you go. Okay, man. Look, you know, we can't talk for so long because, you know, people can't take this. This is too much for them, even though it's just us. You know, no, I look at this as just me, just, just you. We, we talk, we archiving the, the, the times and the whatever that we're in. You know, we didn't really talk about, but we talked a little bit about uh, uh, Brianna, but, but, but that's the whole thing of, you know, what we need. Well, we, we did talk about it, but, you know, this, this time and day, these, these days and times, this epoch, I like to say this epoch, I just love that word. This epoch yeah. is something to be living through. But more importantly, you're supposed to be you supposed to be you supposed to be working it. You're supposed to be battling in this epoch. This is epoch for your battle. Everybody yeah. needs to jump up the same call it jump theory. Everybody needs to jump up at the same time because when we land, it should shake. It should shake the universe all over the yeah. planet. We should be shaking the universe. And we can. All right, man. All right. I'll talk to you next week. Okay, bro. Well. Yeah, I, I, I really, I, I, I got to look at your painting again, your, your drawing again. I love that uh, concept, man. The, the American woman. Yeah. The ultra, the real American woman. That's a good one. I got to look at it again. But I want to, I want to get to New York. I want to see the real thing. That's what I want to do. You know. <laughs> it's all digital anyway, though. <laughs> I don't care. You, 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 you digital, yeah. But aren't you going to print it up someplace? Maybe. <laughs> One you, day I the, the vibrant colors got to come through, man. Yeah. You, there's no way you can make digital vibrant, or maybe you can. I don't know. Oh, yeah, you can. See, here's my thing with digital versus analog. Everybody's like, oh, well, analog's real, but digital, I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm painting with numbers. You know what I'm saying? Meaning, you know, ones and zeros. Yep, yep. It's digital, right? Yep. But but analog is the earth. You understand? Pigment is earth. So you you paint with dirt. Mm-hmm. It's still the same because w- where does a computer come from? You know what I'm saying? The concept of everything still comes from the earth. It's precious, just been recontextualized. Precious metals. Yeah, it's precious. just been recontextualized. Huh? You know. Now, people understand the concept with Wakanda. Oh, everything's vibranium. Oh, I get it. 
Yeah, everything's made out of vibranium. The suit, the ship, their clothes, their this, their healing. Yeah, okay, so it's the same thing in reality. Okay. I ran the precious metal. Okay, you, you you got me thinking, black man. You got me thinking. Yeah. I've always said that. I've, I've had, like, not really arguments, but little skirmishes with the analog people. Oh, yeah, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, that would be great if, if you really painted it. It's like, yeah, but it is really painted. This, what you're seeing is what you, your eyes would see if it was on a paint, if, if it was a painting right in front of you. I don't know. I, I sort of have to argue with you, man, because you know when you when you go through the when you go through the airport at uh, like, like uh, in the Netherlands, you know, what I mean, them yeah. Dutch masters, man. I'm sorry, them Dutch masters, get their, their levels. The oh man, no, no, I, I understand that, but I'm Oof. saying though, but if you saw, okay, so you're seeing the Dutch masters stuff. My thing is like I understand the whole issue of texture, where somehow in your mind's eye you can feel it, mm. right? But that doesn't make when when you see something digital, it's still visually. If you're really looking at it with your mind's eye, you can still feel it. Mm. But you know, people don't want to go to that level mentally. That makes you want, but that's that, that's going to make you one with the robots, man. No. That's why they don't want to do that. That's gonna make you make your son. It's like one with the robots, right? That's funny that you should say that because one with the robots is what everything else has been done too. You could say when you had the horse, and all of a sudden here comes, you know, well the most famous one, Henry Ford, where you know they gave him the credit for creating the car, the automobile. Oh, that's gonna make you one with the robots. <laughs> It's like, yeah, well, there you go. So everything goes back to that. If you didn't start from like the natural state and stayed in the natural state, then you became one with the robots. So it goes back to to my wife's people, the the Khoisan people who used to, who could run down an animal. They could run down a four-legged animal, tie that bad boy out. (laughs) Once you start running down the four-legged animal and then um, you went to the market to get the meat, you became one with the robots. Uh, you're right with that. <laughs> that's it right there. Yeah. So they say, that's going to make you. It's like, yeah, well, that's going to make you. You kind of already are. Mm. You know what I'm saying? If, if you if you got that prune juice, right? 100% prune juice. Not straight from you squeezing 100 prunes to mm-hmm. make it. You became one with the robots. I'm going to think about this, man. Why? <laughs> Just because I don't feel like I can't, I can't, I, you know, I just, it's just my natural, I'm a contrarian by nature. So I got to hey. think about, I got to at least think about this. Okay, hey. I might come over to your way of thinking, as they say, but I'm still going to have to think about it, you know. That's okay, it's all right. You'll get there, you'll get there. <laughs> okay, man, I'll check you. <laughs> okay, take it easy. Okay, later. Later.